So hello guys, today's video I'm going to talk about betas, the things that you should really know on how to care for them. There's a lot of misconceptions on how to take care for a beta, the proper tank size, the equipments and decorations that will be used and most especially its food. So for me personally, if you have noticed my videos regarding my betas, it's obvious that I only kept them on smaller tanks. So why? It's not because that I'm cruel, but it's because it's my preference as a fish keeper. They say that the minimum tank size should at least be 2.5 gallons and above, and bigger is better, and I know that because I research about it. But still, I don't follow it. Because even though they are placed on smaller tanks, as long as you provide them of what they need, like water changes, quality foods, then they will be a perfectly fine and will live a happy and longer life. On the other hand, why I don't have a heater? Because I live in a tropical country in Asia wherein betas originate so I don't need to put a heater in all of my beta tanks. But if you live in a colder climate, then you should need one. And I believe that like all fish, if you kept them naturally, they will develop resistance to help fight off illness. It's better that way. Because for me, if you provide everything for a beta or any other fish, it won't develop resistance to illness, then it will develop problems that aren't good. That is why I keep all of my betas in a natural environment in order for them to develop resistance against everything. This is the reason why beta breeders in Asia like Vietnam and Thailand don't need to follow the standards in beta keeping because they believe and I also believe that if you provide them everything once you can sustain what you have started then your beta will be prone to a certain illness so keeping them in a natural environment it is much better so lastly feed your betas a variety of food so don't ever believe that the size of a beta stomach is like their size of the eyes and it's really crazy. I always give them 4 to 8 pellets a day and they are fine. But remember to soak the pellets first before introducing it to them to avoid constipation. Feed your beta fresh foods like frozen bloodworms, daphnia, beef heart once in a while. I give mine as a treat once a week. So you can also fed them with mosquito larvae or mosquitoes itself. Because betas in a wild eat everything that fits on their mouth, so be natural as possible. Look for a beta food brands that has no fillers in it and avoid fish meals. For me, one of the best foods out there are New Life X Spectrum and Omega One. But there are so many other brands or good brands out there as long as you check first its ingredients. Also remember to fast your beta once a week to clean and relax their internal organs or their gut. So lastly, give them some interactions to avoid stress and fin nipping issues or to avoid fin nipping issues. Let them see each other once in a while. So once a week will do for at least 5 minutes a day or 5 minutes a week. This will help them reduce stress and practice their flaring. Because flaring will help them clean their gut as it stimulates all of their body and organs that helps in bowel elimination. So if you are going to do this, then your beta will live a happy and longer life. That's all of the things that I can share it to you guys in my 12 years of having a beta. So if you have any thoughts in this video, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Bye guys!
Happy fish skipping!